Hello guys, Jugstar here. In this video I will show you how to uh, dump uh, another protected game uh, called Devil Hunter Idol. Uh, the issue in this game is that uh, the metadata, well, there are issues with the metadata and they go to cpp.so. So we have to dump during runtime. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. Uh, I have the game currently frozen with Game Guardian, uh, otherwise the game will crash. Uh, so if we inspect the the build to CPP here, um, you will see that it has no header. So there's like no header. All the values are like zero. On 64 bit, uh, it will be zero till uh, the, on 64 bit the the header is up to 40 bytes till here, uh, and on the um, on 32 bit, it will be up to 34 bytes. So from the start to to here to 34, as for 32 bit, um, and for 64, is uh, up to 40. Okay. So I'm on 64 bit now. So this video will be for 64 bit. Um, so yeah, you can see everything is zero. So um, first thing we need to do is figure out uh, what the header was. So we should start um, by looking at the actual build to CPP file in the, in the game folders. Um, otherwise, um, if it is not there, or if it is also encrypted or protected there, um, you're gonna have to look for the header and uh, while the game is running. So yeah, let's first go to the build to CPP. So I will first look for um, the libuto uh, cpp file in uh, S file, uh, the one of the game. I assume you know where to find uh, your libuto cpp file. Uh, for me, it's uh, through this folder, through this directory. So I copy it. I mean, I'm on BlueStack, you know, so uh, I have to do like a little bit different. Um, and oh, first. Terminal storage and then so yeah, it's, it's a mess because I don't have a, I don't have read permission, uh, write permission, sorry, so it's a really annoying. So I already made a, a folder for it, so I, but I just paste it here because it's not it's not a dump. So I'm not gonna export it to the Windows. You don't necessarily have to follow the steps eh, if you if it is not required. So here I have the build to CPP, and then I do export to Windows. I'm just gonna do a blue stack and export here. Here's fine. So if you now go to the file folder, here we have our build to CPP. So now I open it with the text editor. Okay, great, we have it open. So the header looks normal. Um, till here, you know, so at 40 it ends, so we don't have to do anything with 40. Uh, so I remember on 32 bit, um, it's still 34, so basically you just select 33 bytes, okay, right here, and um, whatever is after that is uh, something else. But for 32 bit, this is the header, so you make like a club, just small notepad where you save it on, you save those bytes. So in my case, I save, I save this, copy, and do like this. It will be like, we do to CPP the sort header. So it will be like that. So just keep that somewhere at the side way. Uh, we can we can close this. We don't really need this anymore. Uh, we can also remove. We can remove this. Um, I'm gonna make already a folder here. Um, let's see, dump development. So here we're gonna pay, uh, pass our dumps to. Okay, so let's open the game. So this maybe takes a few tries before I properly open this game because with this uh, protection going on, uh, it has like this. Uh, I don't I don't remember which kind of protection there, but it's annoying. 
Um, so yeah, so now we can do the dump if the game won't crash. So this is the start address of the build to CPP. And <clears throat> you copy the address. Yeah, it's already pasted here. But let me just do it again. Just so. you copy it. And then you press this button. And then you go to the end. So the end is always like here, you know? Like you have like, a, you say you have like the last text of Libu to CPP. And then you have a little part of uh, another region. But that's also read writable and then you have like another region here so you need all, all you need all of this included okay and also the last part where it's not legal to cpp as well so you press here the start address of him go to um yeah you copy you say uh, you save here and i wonder if i can just copy the text So that's uh, that start and end for our libu to CPP. And now we need to do for our metadata. So we make sure we have um, the right region selected. Always have CA, A, and um, others, okay? That's normally the three regions where the metadata could be. I mean, there are some exceptions, but uh, in most games at least. So we search for the magical bytes. Those are the magical bytes for the metadata. Mm. Gonna have to be a bit too early. So we're gonna have to like play the game a bit longer. But if you do, it's gonna crash probably. Like this. But it's not a problem if the legal to CPP is the same address. That we don't really have to worry. Let's try again. Okay, great. So we have two two metadata. We delete it. We delete the. Uh, we keep the first addresses. If there are two, if there are two metadata, uh, at least two headers, uh, two magical bytes, uh, we shouldn't really care about what's in O. Uh, usually, it's going to be what's in C A. Okay, don't care because always it's going to be a distraction, so you don't want to waste time with that. So you just do like pointer search on C A. We have a lot of values, no problem. We save all of it. Invert selection. On 64 bit minus 30. If you're on 32 bit, you do minus 20. Um, you keep for 64 bit, you do data type quart. And if you're 32 bit, you do data type word. Okay. So we have this address here. The address that points to the address of the, I mean, the pointer that points to the address of, of the first uh, byte of uh, the metadata is the one you have to keep. So you keep this one and the rest you can remove. Really cool, uh, really great. So now you can see uh, that this is the same. So you do now plus 38. Uh, on, on 32 bit, it would be uh, plus 28. Okay, so 38, 64 bit, 28, 32 bit. It's just you add uh, plus 30, uh, plus 8. Sorry, that's all you have to do. So here we go. Oh yeah, and data data type and, and I prefer to just keep it in word always. So this is your offset. Copy the hex value. Let me change this really quick. Start metadata and then offset. There you go. This is the end of the metadata. So we can delete this. And yeah, we just do really quick again for the for the lip. 
Oh, look, the address is still the same. That's funny. So start libuild to CPP and then the end, which is here. Go to. Cool, we're done for that. So now we can do the dumping. We start with dumping the metadata. Copy the address. And the end of the address. So the start of the address and the end of the address. Skip system libraries. And um, uh, make sure you have a folder or something. Then dump them. And now we do the same for the libuild to CPP. Copy address, copy the address, and then we do the same. And we save. Okay, great. We have the game dumped. Uh, let's continue. So since we have the uh, since we dumped now already like uh, the games the, the both the files with. Uh, uh, <clears throat> with Game Guardian, uh, we can basically close this game. It's uh, relevant now. We can let it crash. So, um, so now I need to export the files really quick to um, to the to my Windows. So, let's see. So I dump the files here. I first need to rename them. I'm not sure if I can do it. I, I can't rename them here, so I need to. I'm gonna have to rename them and um, read with S file. So here, the metadata uh, you have to rename. So this was my metadata. So I changed it to global metadata dot dot. Um, okay, done. Uh, because uh, in my case, I cannot uh, edit it and. Um, and Windows, on the Windows itself, the file extension. So you keep this address because we need it. You keep it in the notepad. Uh, we do to cpp .so start address. So you keep it, nice. And uh, now, let's go back here. Nice, now I will export it. Just export both files and uh, export to Windows. Really great document. Uh, blue stacks, pictures, dump them under idle, and um, now the dump has been done. Okay, really great. So now we can um, now we have to open the libuild to CPP. Um, with access to there, and you see uh, the zero, everything was zero. So we copy this, we copy the header, and we press here, the 40. You uh, you press a uh, seater, uh, control, and then B, okay, control B, and then you press save. Okay, great. So now you can close this. We can open a we can open a, a LTCPP dumper. So let me see where it was. This one here. Let's open it. Okay, great, it's finally open. Um, so let's open it. Let's uh, import our files. So this was our libu to CPP. I didn't rename it now, otherwise I would just rename it. But um, just uh, move it into it. 
it doesn't really matter what you name it, but normally I prefer to just uh, name it as libel to cpp uh, And then the global metadata you put here. And then you can just close it and then start dumping. There, this may be dump file. Okay, that's input or libel to cpp start address. Okay. And it's dumping. Can maybe take some time, but usually it goes quite fast. <clears throat> so yeah, you have quite some games where you have to like um, put the, the the header of the executable. Um, Sometimes they change the the version. This can happen as well. Then you have to put in or find the right version uh, so that the dumping works. Uh, yeah, I had several issues. There are some games I just really couldn't dump because they had like I don't know they had like weird protection. Uh, um, so you can see the dumping is complete. So we can close this. Let's go back to the file folder. So you can see that uh, the structs are generated. So we have our dumb CS. You can open it with the notepad. So here we go. We have our dumb CS. So yeah, you can see everything is uh, everything is uh, loaded. So I think that's fine. So. So yeah, that's that's nice. So that's how you dump uh, also protected uh, metadata, um, which also has like a, a some way protected built to CPP. I'm not sure if it is actually protected because like like you have games that I mean it doesn't even have to be like Unity and Unreal Engine games also have like those games that don't have a header. I wouldn't really call this uh, protected, but it's an obstacle. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I have a nice day.